Kuzani, Mdawe, Shewe, Nkanyamba Yamalu Angele, and today I want to talk to you about Amashia Womdawe, which is Ibalo Ninjit. I want to talk about the colors and what they symbolize. I'm going to start with Ibalo. The blue wavy part symbolizes Amanzi Mfula because Ildozi Lomdawe, Ildozi Ilse Manzini Kakuru, Likishelu Manzini, Liparule Manzini, Angegu Lap Ildozi Lomdawe, Ifuena Aufunu Gimanzini. The maroon part here stands for pain, suffering, and blood because Ildozi Lomdawe, Ildozi Elati Pifol Shona, La Shona Kapsumo, is either Bam Kwaza, Bam Tubula, or Wakula, Weza Ushungu Kakuru. This is why you see the maroon part. The white part is for Amandawe themselves. Amandawe Tina like South Africa Swazi as Lao Bantulabo every Sunday they church in open fields and they wear white cloths. Long white cloths. Amamba Korba Kogama Tugu. Amasonto Akon Lava Kambilayo. Basontes Kangin. This is Buzgu. Lavantu Basontes Kangin. There's a reason why Basontes Kangin. Babizwa Amanda. That's not the reason though. Bona Babizwa Amandawe. But there's a reason why Basontes Kangin. So love and to love is spirit some dao. It deeply originates from them. Ibo abantu about understand dao unda. Ibo abantu about what is unda. These things that you see here, they are shaped like the lotus flower. Lotus flower why? Lotus flower is the only flower that grows in mud, and comes out untainted. Sort of like umuntu ozo banil dozulunda uzokula. It's gonna you are going you are going to be trained in suffering. Mundu ma putin do zum dao in yao zia vuga, zibab shum, it attacks your periods. Abanyabantu their eyes become blood red because you are being tested. You are being tested in blood and then you must go through water and then you're gonna emerge from that untainted, stronger and more powerful than ever before. That's what these little things symbolize. That's why they are shaped like lotus flower. Thank you guys for giving me your time. I hope you learned something today. Stay good. Stay blessed. Chogozai.